you begin to ask yourself now everybody is interested in what is happening in southeast and that is what people are talking about anybody who has committed any offense or you know uh, uh anybody who has had must face the the repercussion or the consequences of their actions but what people are saying is that what is good for the geese is good for the ugandas we know what happened um in okioma okoma the other time when people were saying that yes go after those people who did this a despicable thing to the nigerian soldiers not going after the innocent people not going after them and we heard recently when tiwa danjuma was talking about uh, the selective uh, actions that have been taken by the gov by the nigerian army yes the senate committee on army calls for decisive action following attack on soldiers a lot of people we know that uh, the incident that happened in abia state when nigerian soldiers were dealt with a lot of people from the southeast are saying go after the people that committed the real offense because you are fond of going after subject targets you know that unfortunately those who always commit that uh, crime because they know what they have done they will quickly leave the scene unfortunately the ones who never knew or who were who never partake uh, partake in such things will be the one that will be there because they didn't even know what is happening but somebody who has done uh, one evil or the other we all, all always know that they will come for him or her so definitely they will run and that is what they are saying don't uh, go after the do your investigation go after the culprits not innocent people yes people are saying that the senate is talking tough that they should take decisive decision but when it comes to we see this kind of a thing happening in the north people don't want you to talk about it oh stop saying that but that is the reality that we are faced with the senate committee on the army has issued a strong statement condemning the recent attacks on soldiers in abia states and called for decisive action to combat the perpetrators in response to the attack carried out by fighters of the indigenous people of biafra the biafra people say they are not the ones they have said they are not the ones of course they said they have mentioned the people who did that but the reason why they are always coming for them is that uh, the statements even made by uh, simon epa and the rest of them and when people said oh it was a uh, imam powerful they always distance themselves from uh, simon epa but statements made by or the other given that say uh, everybody should sit at home on this uh, what is it called the uh, biafra remembrance day that people should sit at home did he go with any warning please let us know in the comment section whether emma emma powerful said oh you should go out on the set day for everybody to sit at home to to recognize this uh, remembrance day that whether anything will happen to them did he say that let us know yes and that is why they are coming for them they are the ones because there is no i've never seen any incidents i don't know about Ekwa, but at least the uh under ram the canoe they've never taken any responsibility of any attack of anybody so that's why i said if really ima powerful said oh if you don't sit at home this is what will happen to you that is when okay they can be made responsible but they have come out to say no they don't know nothing about the, the soldiers that were dealt with chairman of the committee senator abdulaziz yaradua expressed solidarity with the armed forces and retreated the committee's support for efforts to protect citizens and maintain peace in the region the committee called for overwhelming military pressure to be exerted on the group responsible on say their complete defeat the statement underscored the importance of unity resilience and collective resolve in standing against violence and insurgency that threaten the nation's security and stability yeah it threatens you even corruption looting padding of budgets it even threatens uh, the um, whatever the nation's uh, security and stability you know they won't talk about that yeah 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 you have been hearing that uh, innocent people have been arrested in uh, abba Hmm. the people who kill the innocent civilians are the same people who kill the soldiers and they have one aim which is to ensure IPOP is regarded as terrorist and the extension is sure that Nazi Namikano is not released okay 
I have never read the Senate committee has called for such actions following heavier incidents in the north. Exactly what I'm saying. What they should call for is genuine and efficient investigations to get these killers. Exactly the point that people are talking about. Go after those people who went and did this. It. Don't use one brush to, to, to paint everybody. It is in the east that you people have power. All the killings in the north does not matter to them. Okay, now, when I carry gun, they carry gun. They are more guerrilla tactical than the military army. Instead, they are being recruited into the Nigeria army and police has repented but not transformed Boko Haram. Even a governor from the north said that bandits and kidnappers are doing business but I pop are criminals. Honestly, I'm sorry for Nigeria. This is the only country where you uh, buy for speaking the truth and rewarded for being a deceiver and a okay um okay my advice to the trigger carrier nigeria government in this the more innocent people you buy the more enemies you have this is the bone of contention the unlawful abduction of mass in Americano is what gave birth to a seat at two why because if the ipop come out to protest his abduction, detention, and such, they will be taken down mercilessly. See, eh? <laughs> there is an extent you push the helpless. He will help himself by force. Let's assess the truth for once. All the soldiers are being ambushed in the north on daily reports. What decisive actions have been taken against them? Yeah, what decision or action has been taken against them that is what we are saying what is good for the youth is good for the ugandas so guys leave your comment down and let us know whether um you see it the way some people are saying it that why always going for the soft targets thank you